What if is one of the most interesting words in the English vocabulary. Kenny Carter was a perfect example of a, a great speedway rider with all the talent in the world. But we must ask this question regarding Kenny. What if? What if his beautiful mom didn't get in that accident, that car accident, and his younger brother had passed away in that accident? What if his mom wasn't crippled in a wheelchair for life? What if Kenny had a mother who could care for him and love him and take good care of him like the average mother does? And what if Kenny had a father who was very compassionate? It was very difficult for Kenny. In life, it's really easy to judge people, to talk shit on them, and to just act like you know what's happening. But in reality, we don't know exactly what happened in Kenny Carter's life. We did not walk in Kenny Carter's shoes. Despite his imperfections, I believe that Kenny was a really good guy. However, I also believe Kenny was traumatized by the tragedies of his past. Back in the 80s, there was no therapy. There's no counseling for trauma experiences. People who went through these kind of ordeals like Kenny went through, you just had to deal with it. Kenny and his older brother, Alan, they just had to learn what to do during these tragedies. They turned to motorcycles. And Alan turned out to be a champion road racer. And Kenny went on to be a champion speedway rider. <laughs> Kenny just dedicated himself to the sport of speedway. He started off slow and just kept getting better and better and better. Why? Because Kenny was a natural speedway rider, and Kenny was a gifted athlete. A gifted speedway rider, Kenny caught on quick. He was a competitive guy, he was fearless, and he rose to the top very fast. And Kenny was just a fantastic rider. He had many fans. People followed Kenny on all the different tracks. And Kenny Carter was just an amazing speedway rider. What if the demons in his mind didn't haunt him to take the life of his wife and to take his own life? What if, what if, what would happen? What would have happened to the life of Kenny Carter?
And what if he had a long and successful speedway career? What might have happened? How many world championships might have Kenny won? And how many more individual championships? He was in his prime when this tragedy struck. And like I said, many believe that he was going to win world championships, many world championships. <music> However, it was not meant to be. We all know that Kenny and Bruce Penhall, they had a big rival on the track. They had many rivalries, many hot rides, and they were bitter enemies on the track. However, off the track, they did their best to be friends. Also, who could forget the 82 World Championship at the Los Angeles Sports Coliseum? When Kenny and Bruce Penhall locked up on that turn, it's like turn three or four, Kenny went down and Kenny was fighting his manager, Ivan Major. He didn't want to ride those tires. And Ivan said, I brought a big stack of these from Europe and you're going to ride these tires. However, those tires, when they lose their edge, you'll definitely go down. I rode those tires and they, they will go, they'll crash you. And that's exactly what happened to Kenny. However, what if Kenny rode those tires that he wanted to ride? The 82 World Championship in Los Angeles definitely left Kenny dejected and very upset. What if Kenny had another five or 10 years of speedway riding? How many individual championships might have he won? How many world championships might he have won? He was on the brink of winning a world championship when tragedy struck. We all know the fierceness and ferocity that Kenny Carter had on the track. He was a competitor. He hated to lose. That's a good speedway rider. He had a good mindset on the track. One time he won a championship with a broken leg. <gasps> Get me on that track. I want to win. They put Kenny, they mounted him on the bike with a broken leg. Kenny Carter, he won that championship. Although it wasn't a world championship like Ronnie Moore did with a broken leg, Kenny Carter was a fierce competitor. However, it's good to know how to lose sometimes, right? And it's difficult for me to lose. You get me a monopoly and I lose and I'm pretty upset. I'll be back. And you get Kenny Carter in a game of snooker and Kenny Carter was very upset. Love him or hate him, Kenny Carter will never be forgotten. 